Welcome back. So I'm just in the middle of making a big batch of Madero uh, therapy cups, vacuum cups, and uh, this is the final piece for today. For today, and I thought I'll just show you a few close-up um, footage of how the gouge actually scrapes or cuts and. Nothing, nothing major, nothing special, just you, you're going to see, but really in close, so. First I want to throw up this face. So this will be nice uh, scraping cuts, about one third of the diameter. Okay, a little bit more. Now this is true and this is not and so this is flute closed at um, 3 o'clock I open it up maybe to 2 o'clock let's say and you find the cut and then you can progress forward. So, oops, I will mark, mark diameter. I'll reposition the camera again. Okay, so next step is to make it round and finish cut at the same time. So, one cut for all. can see how nicely burnished and clean no tear out surface is so let's push cut riding the bevel here and I'm using nose of the tool to make the finishing cut and um, this wing to remove the bulk of it it's similar like to 4040 grind uh, except in this case the wing is longer this is just the way I prefer it, so. Okay, so after I made the diameter nice and true and clean, uh, this face clean, I can mark the wall thickness and make a starter hole for the drill bit and I go to the second mark on this size okay since we've done that uh, next thing is to hollow it out now for the rough hollowing this won't be uh, this has to be uh, square hollowed so no curves uh, I'll finish it with the square and scraper but um, to remove the bulk of it I'll use the, the gouge and I'm using just below the, the point of the gouge and uh, you always start with the foot closed to 3 o'clock and handle flat so you can start your cut pretty easily if you open up or if you present the gouge with the foot open it will skate over Okay, so close it. Once you're in the wood, you can then open it up and progress forward. I'll clean up the flute. I always find, find the bottom of the hole first.
and now just remove the ball from it. bring the rest up so, uh, now I hope the camera will pick it up I want to show you something I'm uh, using the square and scraper and uh, since the camera is so close here I hope it will pick it up let's try to listen to the chatter but if I move the rest in now I'm over the post of the tool rest. No chatter, so that's sort of a tip for you today to take into consideration uh, the type of work you do to have the, the rest in the right place, no matter how the beef up uh, rest is it always have some harmonic especially if you're on the on the end of the real long rest now those were really rough cuts and now just lightly finish the bottom okay drop the rest down. one more time and close the ground and now I just clean up the, the corner with the scraper just need to bring, bring it up a bit the rest ok and that's ready for sanding It does have a little like discoloration here, but as you can see, it's nice and clean, no tear out. 